Hi Mike and Chris and everyone else who might watch this. As I've already told you, I was going to play, explain the popping barrel mechanism. So yeah, already opened the gun as you can see. So what do we have here? Looks like a bit of a mess, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, if I push the barrel in, slides back the spring there. Push the lever and it just pops right out. So how does this work? I just have if I move the lever, I just have this small piece there that I fired from I don't know. I hope you can see this right there. It's a bit rounded and there's the big groove inside there to catch another piece that sits on the tube that is screwed to the clear acrylic tube you can see that right here if I twist this I can still twist it because I was too lazy to build something that actually prevents it from twisting anyway you can see there's this small thing pushes the spring back I also find this shape. It's basically, yeah, because it was, I don't know. I got it out of an old computer. <laughs> anyway, you can see there's one tube on the inside that slides inside another tube. So, I twist this back into its normal position. Oh, also. You can see there is a little hole in the outer tube right there. This is so I could screw. Yeah, I don't know if you can actually see the screw, but if I pull this forward, you can see the screw that holds the small locking piece in place. So basically, that's just screw to the inner tube. So I push this back now. Oops. I push this back now. This piece gets can I hope you can see this. Gets caught in there. Push this lever up and it goes down. So that's that. And if I pull the lever, if I push it, just releases it. And I also have the smaller string, I already mentioned that in the post. It is just so it dampens the impact of this. So it doesn't hit some metal part right away. So that might help for yeah, durability, I guess. I hope. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that's that. Now, how does this get back into that position? Pretty easy. I just have this spring here. Sure, you could also use a rubber band for that. Something else, maybe, but I just chose a spring. Again, because of durability. I guess a rubber band could become brittle after some time. So yeah, this is just to automatically lock the piece in place. There's a small L-shaped piece right there that holds the spring. It is screwed to the to the gun, um, and the screw so it sits right under the side disc, so you can't see it from outside. Yeah. What I was going to say about that, the outer tube of this is just held in place by two pieces. There's still some hot glue on there. Uh, but in here, there's a small aluminum plate that is held in place by one screw that holds the rear cylinder. The other screw sits right there. This is one of the screws 
that holds the instrument up. So it's again, again the screws are not visible from outside the gun body. So that's pretty accurate. And on the other side it's held in place. You can see I have two metal plates sandwiched together right there, which are held in place by this screw that holds the front cylinder of the gun. And the part, well, the plate on this side allows both the smaller tube on the inside and the outer tube to go through, but the outer tube pushes against the back plate here, so it can't, yeah, it can't go anywhere basically, but still. The hole in the front plate, which sits against the gun housing, is big enough to let the smaller tube on the inside go through it. So this is how this head is held in place. And yeah, and it works pretty well. I've tested it probably a couple of hundreds of times already, <laughs> and I can really recommend this setup. You just have to make sure that you don't mess with the cables, that they are, they don't get in the way. So I tied all the cables down. Nothing gets caught. It's all pretty clean, I would say. Um, yeah. I hope this explanation made sense so far. Just do it one more time. Oh, for those springs, I use just springs from old RC cars. Sure, it would be nice to just have one spring, but yeah, as you can see, I use two different ones. It doesn't really matter. It just works. Those two as well. Yeah, of course, the brass lever is just a bent piece of brass, goes into the gun right there between the trigger box and the gun housing, and it just goes all the way through the gun. This is also held in place by some additional little thingies that are screwed onto um, onto the brass piece also on the other side I don't know, maybe you can see this it's a bit dark in there but um, yeah and on the outside there's just the small button screw to it so if I push it over this moves a little bit there's always a little loose fit on those parts, but that just helps to yeah, make it function better, I would say. Especially on the fit of these tubes. You don't want to have a really tight fit there. So there's always a bit of room to wiggle it around. Just helps to make it work better. Um, yeah, the front barrel twists, but if you twist it, the clear acrylic tube doesn't twist. I guess it would twist if the fit of this was really loose, but I it just, yeah, you know, like I mentioned, it was too lazy to really fix it. I could build a piece for that. I'll just put some hot glue on this side and on this side too, so it's easy to remove it. Actually, I plan to make a little plate on here, just drill a hole in the side of the outer tube and just put a little thingy there that's actually screwed in place. Then it's a bit cleaner than hot glue, I would say. <laughs> so, yeah, this is how this works. And how I build it. I cut all the pieces by hand and file them by hand. 
And I'm pretty sure you guys can pull this off too. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> and that's that. Uh, oh, another thing I have to mention is that if you screw things like this here, this little thing, to the brass part there, you want to file the brass part flat in that spot. So the screw really grips, has some grip on the brass part and doesn't twist when you don't want it to. I also did that um, where this is screwed on. Just so that yeah, that, any, that nothing comes loose when I don't want it to. And that's pretty much it. Nothing more to explain on this one. Well, I could explain one thing. As you can see, there's a cable, a few cables, going through this, right there. And also on the other side, back there. These are the cables that go to the lights that are inside the acrylic tube. You can see them now, because I have this flash bulb set up right there, but they are in here, in the back of the acrylic tube. There's a screw that goes completely through the tube and this screw also holds the small aluminum tube that goes all the way through the gun handle in the back and moves inside the other tube right there. And yeah, mm, that's that. Also, you want to make sure you have enough room for the cables inside your gun handle. That's pretty important. What I did, I just twisted them around the aluminum tube that runs in all the way through the gun handle. So, it has some room there to expand and whatnot. Yeah. That's it. I hope everything made sense so far. And yeah. I hope you can figure something out that works for you.